now that we have our shop pretty much set up the way we want it to be, let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to get paid, how the shopping cart checkout process works, and how we can configure that correctly. So you're going to want to go to Store, Configuration, and Payment Methods. Now for this, we have an example payment method selected and enabled. So let's go ahead and just see how that works. So we're going to go ahead and check out. We're going to enter our information. Now, what if you want to set it up so the customer doesn't have to retype everything for the shipping and billing? Let's go ahead and change that real quick because that is kind of annoying. You're going to want to go to Store, Configuration, and I believe it's going to be Checkout Settings. You're going to go to Configure Shipping Information. You're going to Enable Profile Copying. And you're going to want to do the same thing for billing. Enable profile copying. So now, you can enter this in. So you enter your shipping information. And you can check the box, my billing is the same as my shipping. That'll automatically copy this down. We're going to continue to the next step. Here we can uh, see the shipping rates that are available. Here's that flat rate we created earlier. We'll go ahead and choose that. And here is the review. You'll see our two products subtotaled out with a flat rate. Order total is $29.99. And we have an example payment method. You can ignore this warning about Stripe. It's because we haven't set up that payment method yet. But we're just going to do an example payment card number. Just leave it as default. Hit continue. And here you can see our order number message. This is what the customer will see. So the example payment method is really useful if you want to test to see what the customer is going to see, what kind of emails they're going to receive. I highly recommend going to People, Add a New User. And this will allow you to actually create a new account that way that's not an administrator so you can see exactly screen for screen word for word what the customer will see um, when checking out